Hi, I'm going to demonstrate for you today the division strategy, the big seven. It's very similar to a tradi the traditional algorithm, except that instead of pulling out the individual digits in the dividend, we retain the place value and take away um, groups in chunks so that the dividend retains its place value, therefore giving students a better conceptual understanding of what they're actually doing when they're doing the, the division process. So we're going to draw a symbol that looks very similar to the traditional division symbol, except that we extend it farther down so it looks like a 7, and that's why it's called the big 7. Just like traditional, we put the dividend inside the box, and we put the divisor outside of the box. Now, since fourth graders a lot of times are not very strong with their multiplication facts, we give them some benchmark facts just to help them out. And so we tell them to do the first three multiples of the divisor. So in this case, that is 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and then we use what we've learned about patterns in place value and we have them do 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 20 is 60, 3 times 30 is 90, and then we look at, sometimes we can stop there, but we look at our dividend and the digit that's in the hundreds place in our dividend is, lo is equal to the divisor. So we know that we can do 3 times 100. If the dividend were even larger, we could do 3 times 200, 3 times 300. But many students will realize when they see this 300 and they compare it to their dividend, they will know that that is as far as they need to go. So what we're doing is we're going to use this multiple list that we've created to help us take away from the dividend. So we look at the multiple list and we find the multiple that is closest to the dividend without being larger because we're going to have to take away, so it has to be smaller than the dividend. So in this case, that is 300. So they write 300 under here, and I have them draw their line out here to remind them that they have to write the multiple, what multiple of 3 that is. Well, that's the hundredth multiple, or 3 times 100, which is 300. Then they subtract. They have a difference of 12. Many a lot of students may realize, oh, hey, 3 times 4 is 12, so I can just do uh, 4 groups there and be done. But not all of them do. So even if they don't, they look in the multiples list and they go, I have a 9. That's as close as I can get to 12 without going over. That is the third multiple of 3. So 12 minus 9 is 3. So then I have 3, and there's a 3 in the multiple list. That was 3 times 1. And so I subtract and I have nothing left over. I have no remainder. Now my answer is these numbers on the side, I add them together. Some kids can do this in their head. Sometimes they can't. It's okay. In this case, most of them can probably do it in their head because we just have 100 plus 3 plus 1, which they know is 104. Now I'm going to show you over to the side what more than not likely what more than likely happens with kiddos who are just following that rote set of steps to do the steps to do the traditional algorithm and they don't really realize conceptually what they're doing in the division process so they make um, some careless mistakes that throw them off so in the traditional method what would typically happen with a student is they would do this and they would say, okay, I know 3 times 1 is 3, and they subtract, and they have 0. They bring down the 1, and they go, well, I can't do 3 times something to get 1, so I'm going to bring down the 2. And I know that 3 times two, uh, three times 4 is 12. So then they subtract 12, and they go, oh, okay, I'm done. No remainder. My answer is 14. Because what they don't realize is they've missed a significant part right here because they have to have a placeholder there to show that they could not make three groups out of that. So that's where they traditionally will mess, that's where they will mess up with a traditional algorithm. And the big seven kind of by keeping it in chunks and keeping the place value together helps prevent that mistake. Thank you very much.